there's only one power, only one and that atom has only one nucleus, means only one center of power. Everything then can be infinite in its numbers but the one nucleus, one source of power, fire of Divine Love. The Qudra of Allah is located in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad is the source in that power, that reality. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and by the grace of Allah that we're still in existence and that always a reminder for myself that we took a path towards these oceans of realities that Allah has destined, not through our cleverness and not through any account of our own but Allah whom Allah guides is guided. And the highest guidance are to tariqahs and to the tariqahs, the essence of all tariqahs, the soul of all tariqahs is Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah. And so alhamdulillah Allah guiding to that reality, to His Divinely love, the Divinely ishq, I'm not in heaven, I'm not on earth, I'm in the heart of Muhammadun Rasulullah I'm on the heart of my servant. For those who don't understand whom Allah's servant, it's much easier to be very clear. I'm in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That you are created from my ocean of love, you exist from this ocean of muhabbat and love that humans don't understand. And the shaitan make them run to after other things thinking that's love. And that ishq and that love is what Allah is directing us. Don't come to only the superficial knowing of Allah but come into my oceans of haqqai. Come, don't swim on the outside all your life thinking you, you've known something take your path into its reality. That power is the power for all of Allah's created universes. Go to the ocean of power, go to the power maker. You don't need anything else, you don't need to go anywhere else. Direct your path to the flame means that that purified fire make your life to move towards that fire, don't stop until you get to that fire. And that fire is the association of ashiqeen because they're lit, their own fire. As Salaamu Alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshaAllah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content inshaAllah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels, and donate. Every bit helps. Jazakallah khair and we will return to the program. Their lives are based on that fire, they're in a continuous state of burning, continuous state of testing, difficulties, sadness, everything. Because they're in continuous state of burning, they are the examples of that flame. And the guidance is to live a life entering into that flame. And when you begin to move towards that flame, everything other than that fire is burning and that's why the difficulties in life. Everything. People complaining and emailing about this complaint, that complaint, but that was the path. When they're talking about a fire, it's not the philosophy class, it's actual real flame. Your boss is bothering you, that's the flame Allah's talking about. When your drive is too long, that's the flame Allah's talking about. When your kids are annoying you, that's the flame Allah's talking about. 
When every difficulty in this life comes, that is the flame. And Imam Ali said that, whatever your faith is, face it, means burn more. Why if you see the flame, are you looking for a way out? You're just prolonging, that flame will catch you in the grave and it burns much more intensely. You have no way out, at that time that fire comes. Some describe it as hell and the difficulty and azab of the grave. But those whom took their azab in life, they took their testing in life, they took their difficulty, Allah's ni'mat and blessing, I burned you a little every day. You don't want that? I'll burn your Lord at one time because that's not coming into heaven. These things that you brought into that path, they're not coming to my paradise. This character you have, these, these issues that you have, they can't come to my paradise. So that's why Mawlana Shaykh would describe that those whom follow awliya, they're under Allah's blessings and, and a gift. And those whom distance themselves from awliyaullah, they've distanced themselves from Allah's ni'mat and gift. Why? Because they're describing all these realities. Accompanying their teachings and their way of life is not easy. Because they understood the reality of the grave, they understood that Allah is a moth to the flame, is that reality. Every sadness and difficulty, every testing, people email that they just want to die. So you didn't get it yet. If Allah put you in our email and Allah has you watching these channels, then you're from the people of the moth. And this life of ours is like a flame. The outer trappings of life doesn't matter, it doesn't mean that you're all you're eating you don't have a flame. No, you may have many foods but Allah will test you in a different way that makes your life to be like burning. You may have a nice house, nice car but you're separated from the one whom you love and that's your burning and that's your test. And they can give you all the money in the world and it won't make you feel better. Some people have all the money in the world and all the things they want and all the love they want and Allah sends them a cancer and a sickness and all the money in the world won't take that away, it won't even buy them more time. It means everybody has a fire. Are we facing it in this world? Then you're very blessed. If you burn a little bit every day and you have sabr. Why Allah describes patience, sabr jameel, huh? beautific patience. You're beautiful when you're patient. Why? Because Allah is dressing, He knows the testing. I put fire on you, I make difficulties in your life. If you have the characteristic of sabr and patience and you tolerate and you tolerate because this is all the teaching are these beads and tasbeehs that you're connected, you connect your heart, you're at the feet and the threshold of Sayyidina Muhammad and say that, I have such a love for you, such a ishq for you, I'm confident in my love and this difficulty came and I take the sweet and the sour because it's from you. You are my king, nothing comes to me without your permission. If it came sweet, alhamdulillah, I'm kissing your hands and feet. And if it came sour, I'm begging you keep me under your feet. Don't let me to become shocked from it, angered from it and then run towards shaitan instead of towards Rahman. Keep me, that's why Sayyidina Abdul Qadir Jailani Qaddasullah Siru said, all awliya under my feet, that's a Muhammadan expression. That's not a shaykh's expression, that's in the tajalli of Sayyidina Muhammad saying that my qadam on all their necks, they don't ask to be moved from it, why? Because they're under trial and tribulation. And what Allah says, they, they don't have fear nor sadness 
because they're held under that foot and they recognize this is from Allah through the Sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad everything, everything, not a, not a grain under a mustard seed is not under that command. Have you seen these people who work in these chemical plants that play all day long in these toxic chemical plants and then there's like a, a shower room? They have to enter in a safe zone, everything locks, this chemical steam and water and everything is washing them because they don't want the contaminants from that side to come out into the general population. And Allah would just say, I'm not letting those viruses you have, your character, all the devils around you and in you and on you into my paradise. You're going to go through this system to be clean. When you do practice your connection, you realize that everything, everything coming, you go into your prostration, you're asking, Ya Rabbi grant me sabr, grant me patience and asking Prophet keep me under your qadam and your qudra and your nazar and make this difficulty to pass for me. And when Allah sees the servant in a state of sabr, they're patient, they control the fire, they control the difficulty because this is the flame in our life, we have to move to that flame. So nobody can complain about a test that comes, a sickness that comes, a difficulty that comes. It's a part of the flame, you want it in now or you want it in the grave, I love you, I give it to you now. Are you patient to take the burn? You have the training in which to keep that love and muhabbat. Don't worry about the people in the play, in the show that Allah put in characters. This is only between you Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad because Sayyidina Muhammad is our intercessor, the only one who can relieve a difficulty and pray for the difficulty to be lessened. When we have that yaqeen then this sabr that Allah dresses the servant Nabi Muhammad al-Mustafa comes and makes your character to be beautiful gives you the Muhammadan name, that's why these two names are important. When Allah want to dress from sabr from an ismullah, He's going to dress but it's a key to the name of Sayyidina Muhammad that dresses your soul and fragrances you with a Muhammadan dress because Allah is only interested in La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah so he wants to see your Muhammadan Rasulullah, your Muhammadan dress. He wants to see what dress you got from your Prophet. Are you dressed in this sabr? Are you dressed in Nabi Mustafa Are you be becoming the beatific and fragrance and the chosen one? You have that tajalli upon yourself. Means then that's the reality of these flames that they're reciting, that enter into the flame. Keep the association of testing, 
that when we know we're sitting in that association you've tested from every single direction. There's nowhere that is not tested. If the devil ran into paradise, the devil is everywhere because Allah wants the servant to be tested. If they're patient through their testing with their good character and their realities, then Nabi Muhammad and Mustafa to dress them and bless them. And this is the way to achieve these fragrances and these realities. As a result of achieving those, then they taught in their kalams that not only are any more a part of their association, but because you went so deep into the burning of that association, that fire actually resides within your heart. You're now considered to be lit, right? Because that moth became a sun, right? It became a something so insignificant because it was just playing around the fire. When it decided to actually be burned in the fire, Allah threw the fire within its reality. So if a fire comes from Allah's Divine and Eternal Presence, not any fire, that is Allah's Divinely fire, I'm going to throw my fire into your heart, you're lit, you're eternal. You're lit and eternal like I lit the sun and I lit all the stars because they have no mass and they're fire, burning fire. Eternal, and no time. Why? Because Qalbul Mu'min Baytullah, I made my home within your heart. My Divinely love resides within your heart. So much so you're like a Qibla, people look at you they'll have faith. You're Kaaba because they keep circumambulating around you to find Allah and to be close to Sayyidina Muhammad that's why they teach what they teach these awliya, that's their expressions and their teachings. Always a reminder for myself that this fire of love, if you don't feel it, you're not in the right location. If you're not feeling something burning you, then you're maybe running from it and trying to avoid the flame. Our life is about facing our fate. Anybody who feels the burn, feels the sadness, feels that my difficulties have increased when I met you, congratulations, you did it right. If I… no, nothing happened, you're not doing it right because you don't feel the heat, you don't feel this flame, you didn't find hardship in everything that you're doing, you didn't do it right. So seek the flame seek the reality. Those whom feel it know that Allah's ishq is now glowing within your heart. You have to feel it, you have to understand it that all these difficulties, all this, it, it comes with a price that Allah is saying, I'm not on heaven, I'm not on earth. If I'm going to make your heart my home, there's a price to it. I burn away everything other than me, that only will exist is what? Our father of the tariqah taught us what? What exists if everything burns? La ilaha illallah and Muhammadun Rasulullah That's all that he left, that was the inheritance of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as That is the perfection of faith. There is nothing in this life Nothing in this life but La ilaha illallah and the only thing that gives you any importance is the love and ishq of Muhammadun Rasulullah dressing and blessing the soul. We pray that Allah inspire us that whatever our faith is in life, move towards it. If you think that you're going to avoid it, He created the great equalizer which is called the grave. That's for all the running people, it seems to catch them wherever they go. The earth just opens up and they fall. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensity of these lights and this love.
السلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين أمة محمد If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.